If you own a small business and are considering getting a loan from an alternative lending source, such as On Deck, then my On Deck review will be useful for you to hear. We're going to talk about what strengths On Deck has, how they focus in on things, and a lot about the customer reviews. You're going to want to hear this. Before we get going, let me tell you something. I'm not a licensed credit advisor. This review is my own opinion. It's not sponsored by On Deck. It is sponsored by BestSmallBusinessLoans.com. BestSmallBusinessLoans.com is a must-read site for small business owners looking for alternative sources of funding. If you check out OnDeck's website, you see that the process of finding your way through applying for a loan is very straightforward. But let's start with this. What is OnDeck? What kind of loans do they offer? What are their strengths? What are their limitations? What's their application process like? I'm going to cover all of that in this review and also tell you a little bit about the rates and payments that, they, that you can expect to see from OnDeck. And then we're going to dig into what other customers have to say. I think you'll find that enlightening. Here are some of their strong points. They have discounts for repeat customers. So the more you use On Deck to get loans, the better terms you're gonna get. They're also known for an easy application process, fast funding, and a very personalized customer service touch. But there's a reason for this. The reason is that they focus in on just two types of loans, term loans and business lines of credit. By specializing, they get their processes down nicely. And as a result, they can offer great customer service and fairly competitive rates. Let's look at the terms of the loans that OnDeck offers. You'll see that there's a length, a loan length of three to 18 months and a repayment period that you can choose. It's either daily, weekly, or monthly. They offer their loans with an annual percentage range of around 12 to 45%. That's actually not too bad for an alternative lending source. However, unless you have really strong credit, you're not gonna be at the low end of this range. The minimum amount you can get from on deck is 5,000, the maximum amount is 250,000. So these are fair sized loan amounts that we're talking about here. And, and depending on how you play out the loan, whether or not you pay it off early, the annual percentage rate isn't too bad, but uh, but you know you would have to understand. You have to go into this with eyes wide open because these kind of loan rates can be a killer if you get into something and you're not expecting that high of a rate of interest annually. The business line of credit loan is the same term length, three to 18 months. The repayment period, again, you get to choose daily, weekly, or monthly. The APR range is a little bit better, about 11 to 36%, which, you know, as, as high as that upper end sounds, again, for alternative lending, that's actually pretty competitive for the high end. And so then, of course, the min and max amount that you can get on this line of credit is 6,000 to 100,000. When you consider how quickly you can get this cash and how little you have to do, other than just having a, a business that's running and tax ID numbers, these are actually pretty exciting terms. So for some people, On Deck is a fantastic solution. To qualify for this loan, you don't have to meet very strict criteria. You don't have to have huge revenues. And they use the same criteria for both loans. The criteria look like this. You need a minimum credit score of 600, annual revenues of 100,000 or more, not too much. And then you only have to have been in business one year. That's a pretty low bar to jump, one that most small businesses who have been around for at least a year can probably hit. Now let's look at some of the screens that you'll see when you go through the loan process. Of course, they wanna know about you, a little about the business entity and the responsibility you have. Of course, they're gonna ask for your social security number or other tax ID, basic stuff. They ask for the amount of money you think you'll need, how soon you'll think you'll need it, and what you're gonna do with the loan. They just want to make sure it's going to be business purposes only. As you can see from these screens, On Deck makes it very easy to apply for a loan. There might be a kind of reason for that. If you look at the fine print down here, just by clicking to continue on the second screen, you are consenting to receive telemarketing calls and messages, including calls using an automatic telephone dialing system. Not a big fan of that. However, if it was really onerous, I would have expected to see more about this complaints from existing customers. 
you don't tend to see those kinds of complaints. So they must be okay about the kinds of information they try to market to you. Of course, they're gonna ask a little bit more about uh, your business, gonna get your business tax ID if you've got one, and uh, average bank balance and so forth. This is all standard stuff that you would expect. Then they're gonna ask you to provide bank statements and connect up your bank account. So first off, you need three months of your business checking account activity. So this is great if you actually have a business bank account. If you don't, well, this probably isn't the solution for you. Now the other thing that's gonna happen here is that you are going to give them your banking information so that not only can they see your business statements for the last three months, but when they're ready, and when you get approved for the loan, they will put money right into your bank, electronically and automatically. Of course, the other side of that coin is that when it comes time, they're gonna automatically take the payment out of your account to make sure that you're paying the loan according to their schedule, the schedule that you choose daily, monthly, or weekly. That's just part of the alternative lending game. You really can't expect to work with an alternative funding without recognizing that they're just going to take the money according to their schedule electronically. But as I say, most people that go through this process are prepared with that idea and they find it works for them. But that leads us to this idea. Who does this solution work for? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Businesses with good credit, for sure. Also, anybody who can do a loan and pay it off early. And then repeat customers, people that use on deck over and over again they tend to get lower and lower rates and they can make the whole process work for them better. That's because on deck trusts them more. The loan solution isn't for everybody, but if you have these criteria, it could be for you. Now let's look at what customers say about on deck. They say that their highly attentive customer service processes make it easy to get questions answered, that the application process is very fast, the Approval process and the funding are also fast, as quick as 24 hours for approval and maybe as quick as 48 hours after that for funding. Not all of them move that fast, but they move pretty fast. Look at these Trustpilot reviews. There are 3,000 reviews, 95% of them are in the excellent category. That's amazing. That's probably one of the best customer service records I've seen anywhere, let alone in alternative source funding. According to these numbers, there's just over 2% of people who responded to the reviews that have anything other than an excellent or great experience. I actually dug into the reviews to see what were the average poor or bad reviews that people left. And a lot of them were just, you know, one-off kinds of things, a little of this, a little of that, nothing highly repeatable. In fact, there was one thing that really bothered me so I did some research on it. The review said that when they had tried to go and pay the loan off early, that on deck had penalized them for doing so. That sounds like a big red flag. However, I contacted the company and found that that information wasn't correct. Not only does on deck not penalize customers for paying off early, they oftentimes give an incentive for those who do. There's a reason why On Deck has high customer service. They specialize in the two loan types and they've gotten very good at what they do over the years. If you're interested to see the full review, you should check it out on bestsmallbusinessloans.com. I think you'll be glad you did.